Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com here. Today we're going to do a little review video. I've got here what would be considered an early bird box for the RevPoint Pop 2 3D scanner. So I'm going to do a very quick unboxing here and then get into the scanning and just kind of show you guys what's up. So here we go. Let's get started. All right, so let's get into this thing. Open this box up. I did have this out, so it may not be the way it was perfectly put in here. Got some uh, general instructions that aren't real instructions. You've got some uh, dot placements and also a black plastic mat for putting behind the, uh, the uh, surface here. Got a 3D printed platform that has the dots applied to it so it can pick up the area. Here is the actual scanner itself it's already got the attachment here and uh, it also has a push button also has a connection back here for power and data 5 volt at 1 amp so there you go this is full glass on the front which is really nice so you can wipe this clean if you need to it's all protected it's got a quick connect here for uh, different type of things and it's a, a standard threaded port for that for whatever you want to put it on this also comes with this really nice stand also pulls out which is pretty cool so that's really nice you can hold it in your hand fancy stuff you've also got the adapter for this part so this is pretty cool it pops on here then you've also got the uh, threaded for this so now you've got the whole thing you can adjust the angle, you can pop this off real quick. Nice little quick connect, very helpful. Put this back here. So we've also got this adapter. So this spreads out the USB-C and the USB-A for power and data isolated. So you can power this and also transmit data with two different sources, which is really handy. Got your little iPhone mount, which is really nice. It's also got the same clip on there so you can pop this off you can pop this on here you can put your phone on there and then you can actually put this on here so now you've got a cell phone and your scanner right flip it over if you need to like that so now I'm scanning forward pretty cool deal so we'll play with that a little bit while we're doing some scanning and you've got a model here so a nice little model for us to test with and of course you got all the cords so this has a USB 3.0 right to uh, power and data on this side USB 3.0 on that side these have been undone because I've been using this a little bit here you've got a USB C to a USB A here you've got a USB 3 to a USB micro A. And last but not least, there is also a USB type 3 to a one that goes to the camera. These are really nice. They have the screw in so that you can't pop them out. And also we have some tacky putty. So that's this box. Let's open up the other one. All right, so first things first, I got the uh, turntable. If you push this button, it starts spinning. If you hold it, it turns it off. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing right in the middle. This gives me a nice table with my dots. Got my background all blacked out. I'm gonna go ahead and try scanning this. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the USB 3, but I'm also gonna plug it into a power adapter just to make sure it's got enough power. They recommend on here at least one amp, probably two amps is better. So that's the best thing in my opinion uh, during my use of this. All right, so here we are in the software. I'm basically just going to uh, select auto on this for a second. Once it stabilizes, I'm gonna put it back into manual. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clip the plane, which means it'll take off any of the back uh, background uh, planes that don't fit and uh, then I'm going to adjust this until I think it's uh, adequate. 
and I'm basically going to go in here and I have the option to do a couple of things here high accuracy fast scan uh, the style is feature, uh, feature marker face body dark slash hair no color or color I'm gonna do no color since this is just a white model I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at high accuracy and I'm gonna use feature so I can flip it around and let it auto find where it's at so confirm it will set up so I can start this the actual scan I'm just gonna hit play and it will start scanning I'm gonna let it go a full revolution here and then I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna flip the model over and I'm gonna basically go on to the next portion of scanning which I want to scan the bottom as well and the sides all right so we've managed to get one revolution out of it I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause then I'm gonna take the model and flip it on its side so this way I can scan the bottom of the feature if I hit play it should pick it up let's see if it does there you go so it reorientated it made sure it's scanned in the correct positions so now it's picking up the bottom where it was missing it earlier if you have something like this happen you can just hit the back button keep scanning we'll go let it go around the bottom again get that base all right so now we hit stop hit complete and it's going to basically fuse the uh, point cloud and then we can mesh it together and then we can decide to do something with color but in this case we're not dealing with color then we can export the file as a few different types all right so it's uh, fused together here the point cloud looks really good there's a little thing down here uh, as a flat plane I think we can get rid of that so this is literally just the point cloud you can save this as the point cloud with different file types I however am going to go ahead and create a mesh which will fill in the holes so now it's going to mesh it in and take any of the holes out it automatically does this alright so it's done meshing you can actually see this uh, little bubble added on to the extra there So that is basically the whole thing meshed together. We can remove this later. And uh, yeah, then I can save it. I can actually save it as these multiple different file types. So this, uh, you can take a screenshot and look at these over. These are the different type of formats that you can save currently. All right, so I've got this base here. I'm gonna try scanning got this really nice feature we've got the play button on here so I set up the uh, system to get ready to start scanning I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button and then start my scanning see how well this turns out the pop 2 actually has an accuracy of up to 0.1 millimeter the point distance is 0.3 to 0.5 millimeter and the scan range is from 20 millimeter to 2 meters it's got smoother operation at 10 Hertz or frames per second uh, texture assisted stitching and it's also got a six uh, axis gyroscope that helps it orientate when you're doing it freehand also has better color effect all right so here's my scan that I did free scanning I didn't go into the top too far could have done that better but yeah that's uh it's pretty good doing it for freehanding I will go ahead and uh, fill in any of the holes and go from there all right so there it is all meshed up looks really nice and uh, I can't complain about that now I can 3d print me a new vase because this one actually does have a hole in the bottom it got broke very nice all right just as an example here I got a flashlight and also my hat I went ahead and scanned it in color so I'll give you a quick overview of what that looks like once it's done fusing all right so the point cloud is done actually looks really 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 good the black is really hard to pick up on this uh, scanner so uh, you know it did a really good job I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill in the holes I wanted to show you what it looked like before I did that all right so we're all meshed up you can see uh, 
what it did. The edge there is a little rough, but otherwise looks uh, fairly clean inside and out, which is pretty impressive. So the last thing I want to do is do the color correction. Alright, so now we're doing the texturing. So right now what you see on the screen is non-textured, uh, or it hasn't done any work with the texturing. You can also do this in the other program that comes with the uh, scanner, but in this case I'm just using the actual handy scan program to do this and uh, we'll see what it looks like all right so it's done this is what the final final looks like and uh, it's quite quite good so there is my hat hard to see on the dark but it's got the lines in there pretty interesting stuff all right, so there is my overview of the uh, POP2 RevPoint 3D scanner. Pretty cool piece of kit. And uh, yeah, that's all about all I got to say. Thanks for watching, and uh, catch you on the next one. Peace out.